final session and good afternoon for one last time. So our final session is all about visible thinking routines and strategies. So this is something that I can see prominently in your walls and also in what your students are doing. So just a quick refresher. Visible thinking routines are those that provide students with the avenue for them to engage with content on a deeper level. It also allows our students to actually take stock of what they learn and present their learning in a creative way or also in a way that allows them to express themselves uniquely. Visible thinking routines are actually something that helps in the development of attitudes because it provides um, opportunities for differentiating learning as well because you can have a student who can present their learning let's say to an art medium if they're artistically inclined they can also present their art other uh, what they know through music or even through let's say building of different building stuff using the different classroom materials so all of these allow our students to actually um, present what they know in a way that is comfortable for them. There is less pressure for them to do a paper and pen test, but actually find creativity, find time to enjoy on what they are showing. Okay. So this is basically this is visible thinking routines and this one. And for this session, we are going to do one last gallery walk. So once again, we have different stations for you. We have one station over here on the unit of inquiry wall, and there's a task for you to try out a specific visible thinking routine. Here we have another one. This routine or this station is actually connected to this station as well. So if in this task you'll have to look at the central idea, You'll have, you can get that central idea from this compass wall here. And then we have another station here as well, and also there in the middle. So in each station, you'll have different tasks for you to work on which target a specific routine. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to approach me to talk and also to ask for clarification questions. For this one question sorts, you have a series of questions and then you can sort it out according to which you find most interesting and which one is least interesting or to phrase it, questions worth inquiring and questions that are Google.
Um, for this, this should already be the rubric in itself. I would have to manage those. So this would be the to generate this kind of Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because this is already their, their evidence. So uh, you can, what you can do is for this student, um, the student was able to generate what from that was um, that included the concepts or um, was based on the lack of inquiry. And then you can actually show that to parents also because it really shows in terms of thinking skills how did they process the information. So this would also fall under um, a specific
you can use the different tools, especially the sorting app, to see if we can move for our Okay? So all of this is that can be found in assessment in the nature of the BYP pattern as well. Okay? So with that, I thank you. Um, for